Hey there guys, it's Amit and welcome back to DevDreamer. So guys, in the previous lesson, we took a look at the div tag and we saw that the div tag was used to basically divide or wrap up our content. So here we had this uh, red section here and we gave it a background color of red, okay? And then we had this blue section here and we gave this a background color of blue. In this lesson, I want to talk to you about IDs and classes. Now, when you first start learning HTML, this can be a bit confusing, but hopefully this lesson will help to clear everything up. So, IDs and classes. What are they? Well, IDs and classes are basically attributes that we can give to our elements. So, for example, in our div tags here, we can get rid of this and get rid of this. And we can give these divs an ID. So here I'm going to say ID equals and then quotation marks. Inside this here, I can say, uh, I'll just say red hyphen section. Okay. And then in here, I can say ID equals blue hyphen section okay the id and the class as well and we'll look at the class in just a second they're basically used for css selectors so if you go into our css file now which is just style.css here okay we can now select these sections by using their relevant ids so let's first of all select the red section so that was called red hyphen section and the way that we select an id in css is we use the hashtag symbol or the pound symbol like so okay and then we do space curly braces and inside here then we can write our styles now the styles we write in here will be specific to our red section content okay because it's been given an id of red section and that's what we're actually selecting so here then we can do the same thing we can just say background is red okay and we get the same thing then we can do the same thing for the blue section. Okay, so that was just called blue hyphen section, and we can change this to. But what happens if we wanted to have the same styling on both of these sections? So let's say, for example, we wanted the uh, text color to be white on both the sections. Well, you could do this, you could come into here and do color, and then just say white, and then do the same thing on our blue section. Let's just copy this and paste this in here, okay? And that works. However, what happens if you actually had a lot of different styles that you wanted to put on the red section and the blue section? This will be the wrong way to do things because what we're doing here is we're actually repeating our code and we really don't wanna do that. So the solution is to use a class. So let's get rid of this and let's get rid of this and let's go back to our index.html file, just save this, back to index.html file and in here, let's say, space and now we're going to give this a class okay so class equals and then quotation marks and let's call this um font styles font hyphen styles and then what we do is we give the same class of font styles to our blue section here so space and put this in so now both sections have a class of font styles so we can come up to our style.css and then we can select this by doing font hyphen styles. And the way that we select a style is we put a full stop or a period in front, like so. So now this is a class. So to select an ID, you do hashtag. To select a class, you do full stop, okay? Then we have our same curly braces. And now in here, we can actually write styles that will affect both of our sections. So now we can do color white. And as you can see, both of them have now turned white. We can say um, font size. Let's drop this down to 0.8 EM. Okay. Um, and what else? Let's also give a border to both these sections. Let's say border is going to be two pixels solid. And let's go for this forest green color. Okay. Let's also give it a margin just to separate it down here. So we'll say margin hyphen bottom. And we'll just say 10 pixels. Okay, and guys, again, if you don't know what any of this means, then don't worry, we will be looking at CSS in another tutorial. So then, what we've learned in this tutorial is that IDs and classes are both used in our CSS to actually style our elements. But what's the difference between an ID and a class? And when should you use an ID and when should you use a class? IDs are strictly used on single elements. So for example, or, or single blocks of code. So for example, you couldn't have red section here and then red section down here as well. That would actually be incorrect. So an ID should only be used once. So we've got an ID of red section here. There should be no other ID of red section in our document. 
just like we have an ID of blue section here, there should be no other ID in our document that's called blue hyphen section. So IDs are unique and they're only used once in our HTML document. Of course, you can have different IDs. So for example, you have ID of red section and ID of blue section here, but you can't have the same ID showing up twice in our document. Now with class, class is basically used to style multiple elements or sections, different elements and different sections, which is why here we have our div, okay, which has a class of font styles. And then down here, the second div here also has a class of font styles. So we use class when we know that we want to style something style two different elements or two different blocks of code in the same way. So font styles here had the same styling that was applied to both the red section and the blue section, color of white, font size, etc, etc. Whereas our IDs were only used on single elements or single blocks of code because we wanted to create unique styles for that particular section. So for example, blue section had a background of blue and red section had a background of red. Okay guys, so I hope that was useful. Hope you now understand what IDs and classes are. Go ahead and practice and you know, maybe even do this same example that we've got here, just so you can get used to understanding IDs and understanding classes and when you should and should not use them. Okay, so hope that was useful. Please subscribe and as always, I'll see you on the next one.